All right. Here I am today at the cemetery again. If you didn't know me, you'd think I was crazy for coming to the cemetery so often. But for those who know me, they know I really enjoy coming out here and that I am on this mission for the wreaths across America. I want to clean as many veteran headstones as I can. So with that being said, I'm gonna move this camera. I don't like where it is. Metcalf, Florida, CPL 58, Troop, Car, Square, World War II. Wow. March 21st, 1909 to January 31st, 1967. Charles, I see you had a pretty pretty decent life uh, for back in the days. I mean, lengthwise, anyway. You were about 60-some years old. I want to thank you, Charles, for your life. And I want to thank you also for your service to our country. And I hope you did not fear your death, as well as I hope you have been resting in eternal peace for all this time. With that being said, I'm gonna get started on your headstone. And as everybody knows by now, with the flat ground headstones, I usually have to dig a little trench to capture the water as I'm cleaning it, as well as to help irrigate it after I'm gone. is a penny that was here on your headstone. I'm gonna put it on the flag so I don't forget it. The other day I was here and I realized that I forgot to put a penny back on the headstone. And so of course, what did I have to do? As soon as I came back out the next time, go straight to that headstone. And there was the penny right there. It's not like I had to find a new penny. Ooh, all right, so Charles, Charles, Charles. I've always loved the name Charles. Actually, what comes up first in my memory is uh, my husband's, somebody in the neighborhood when he was growing up got taken away by the ambulance and he had a bird, like a big macaw and the bird just kept crying as they took him out on the stretcher going, bye Charles, bye Charles. <laughs> I get a kick out of that story every time. And that bird was sad. I think that man came back home though, so he was all right. All right, so there is lots and lots of dirt in your letters and numbers. So that's what I'm gonna start on. I'm just cleaning them. My husband, Chris, and one of my daughters, Christina, just left this morning for a road trip up to North Carolina for a funeral. Chris's uncle, Floyd, rest his soul at peace. He just died and I've never been happier, if that makes sense, 
to know when somebody dies. Like, he was not able to live life the ways that he had his whole life for the past several years. He was almost like an invalid. And I'm not sure if it was Alzheimer's or what, but he did say that the day, the same day he died, for the first time in a long, long time, he knew Chris's parents' names when they visited him. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's actually really beautiful. The same is true with our animals, humans and animals we know. When it's almost time. And certain things happen, like finally, suddenly recognizing people that you didn't recognize for many years. You know, right before I came out here today, we have five dogs and many other pets as well. But my one dog, Ruby, was diagnosed with cancer about three years ago. And um, she's been like a puppy this whole time. Like every time the vet asks, how's she doing? How's she doing? I'm like, you know what? She's better now than she ever was. She's about 11 years old. A little Jack Russell, well, not Jack Russell, a little Chihuahua mix. But uh, today she really scared me, was just laying there on the couch and started screaming, crying. All the other dogs were going crazy. They didn't know what was going on. I still haven't really figured it out. She's limping. I don't know why she'd be limping. But anyway, I'm just kind of like preparing myself for her death. I mean, you don't want to prepare yourself for death, but at the same time, you kind of need to. I know I cleaned your headstone before because the old flowers were here. I don't know exactly how long ago it was. I'll have to look and see. But most of my headstones appear to be going for about three years before needing to be cleaned again. today I'll say ah this is why I live in Florida I wish it was 80 degrees all year round but it's not the way it goes and it does get cold here Florida does get cold. I love that when I just pulled up into the cemetery, into the groundskeeper and when he saw me he just 
waved. And he knows me. So, because these letters and numbers were so filled, just like jam-packed with dirt, I'm gonna do another um, brush scrubbing. So Charles, Obviously, I'm here cleaning your headstone today. And I just wanted to let you know that I am here and available if you have anything you'd like to share. silly I don't know how to explain it but I just wasn't old enough to to respect and value because I didn't even know I thought I was invincible then Right? And we're all teenagers, we all think we're invincible. What's that? Now you're gonna make me go do my great grandparents. Oh, are they here? Yeah, they're buried in the uh by the oak tree. If you let me know their name, I'll do it. No ma'am, I can't ask you to do that. I feel weird. Don't I don't you? charge anything. Ma'am, I feel weird. <laughs> I do this all just it's, to... It's the bars. The bars, okay. Yeah. I wanna say I have cleaned them before. By the oak tree, is that, is it that one? Or is that, I'm not sure. It's been so, uh, I'm slacked. Hey, it's all right, I um, mean. Yeah, it was my grandparents, my, my grandparents, mother. Okay. Um, yeah, the bar, like, the bar name sounds familiar. I don't remember because I was always grandma. So little, yeah. I know that's not a bar. I'll check that out. Yeah, no, I've been coming here for about three years now. I know. A lot of people I talk to are like, you actually have people there? I'm like, yes. A lot of people don't have any people here. Yeah. Like, yeah like, I don't know anybody buried here, but I know everybody buried here. No. <laughs> um, I just do this. I'm volunteer. I, I do you? this uh, out of my... Um, well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That's yeah. awesome. That's I mean, awesome. when I say I don't know anybody here, I don't have family buried here. Right. But at this point, um, I just had... I've cleaned 500 headstones here in, 500. in this cemetery Wow! over three years. Well, here, you want to no, 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 stop it. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. There you go. You oh, my good goodness. Feet. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm going to go check out the bars, and don't you feel guilty about that. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> that's a great thing you're doing. What's that? That's a great thing you're doing. Oh, thank you. Have a good afternoon. Have a great day, ma'am. It's Friday. <laughs> Oh, 
that sweet. I, I didn't want his money, but he ran off. And now I'm definitely checking out the bar. That just makes my day. I mean, clearly, as most people would assume, he thought I was cleaning, like, a relative headstone. needs to be a little bit deeper. some flowers. So I guess this man's going to find his grandparents. been saying before I mean this is right up on the road and I know all these people who live across the street have seen me here for the past few years at first I think they were like what the hell and now they're like oh there's that girl who cleans headstones Here is the penny. Back there for you. Charles, thank you for your life. I hope you are resting in a eternal peace that only angels can know. And now I need now I need to wait because this man's coming back to tell me where his grandparents are and there's another car on the road waiting for him. So interesting. Maybe I should keep the camera rolling. I don't know. Anyway. Until we meet again.